In this video, we are going to see the function block comparison. Let's get started with the video and head over to the open PLC editor. As you can see, I have already created a folder and named it as the comparison. Now there goes my two power rail, one on the left side and one on the right side. After, I will go to the standard function blocks and I will choose the count up and I will press OK. I will increase the size of the count up. Then I will add the variable while and type it as boolean add the another variable and type it as integer also need to enter another variable which will be our preset value or pp for short and I will give an arbitrary initial value 5. After that, I will use count up and type it as boolean. Read the initial value. Add another variable pulse. And another variable IN2, which is input 2 for short. Now I will start adding the coil and the contacts. First of all, I will add the coil. I will join the pins. I will add a variable which will be my count value and the class will be output. As I'm going to need to join or connect the pin with on the output side, need another variable for the input, which is going to be our preset value. And I will add the contact pulse And another contact see you now join the pins with the power rail and put the pulse 
in series with the CEO. Now I'm going to the comparison and I will use the equal block here now I'm going to need an output here for the EQ block and I will write out and now I will add the block the coil and which is our out adjust the block size then after I will join the pins for the input first I need to join the variable count value and for the input second I'll just use the input second as you can see it's showing the red connection instead of black which means that the input second should not be boolean but integer and I need to set a preset value let's write 10 need to end another contact here this will be reset I need to make the reset variable first then need to add the reset contact it's not showing the reset contact Need to go back to the variables and type the reset as boolean now try to add the reset contact now it's showing the reset contact adjust the block size and I'll join these pins with the block and with the power rail. Now we can start the simulation. The simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. After that, I will drag this up. I will force this to true. Let me show you the out, out pin on the right side and coil. Now I will start with the pulse as the count value started counting 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now I will start the simulation.
you might have seen a mistake here as the preset value was 5 which meant that the count value will start counting from 1 to 5 and the block comparison block which we used is equality which means that when the input first and input second is equal only and only then the output will be true which would have never come true because the input second had the value of 10. Now I modified the value and I will start the simulation again. As uh, the simulation is complete, I will click on the glasses. After I will drag this up and I will show you the coil and out on the right side. As the value of the preset is 10 and input second is 5 which means that at some point the count value will be 5. Now as I generate the pulse to the count up block it started counting and as you can see the value is 4 and the out is false as I will force true it to the fifth time you will see that the out is true and the coil is false because the preset value is 10. Now as I Or true for the sixth time the out is false and the count value is 6 so on and so forth when I generate the pulse up to 10 the coil will go through this ends our video here thank you for watching